Hey guys, it's Chris the BSC, and welcome back once again to Brotherhood of the Back Collectibles, your one stop for all things high end statue collecting reviews, unboxings, and so much more. This is going to be another hit or miss video, but this one is going to be very different than what we usually do here on the channel. Uh, of course, we usually cover DC and Marvel, but I could not not cover this one for you guys because I think it's incredible. Now, this is an ultimate premium masterline Jon Snow. This is a quarter scale statue from our friends over at Prime One Studio and also Blitzway, uh, who has just been doing phenomenal, phenomenal work, especially with their head sculpts. And uh, I am a fan of Game of Thrones. I think this is just a epic epic piece and I had to share it with you guys I wanted to make sure I covered this for you because I, I feel like this is a special piece uh, especially in terms of the head sculpt I just think that Prime One has done a phenomenal job and again Blitzway uh, just absolutely incredible and so I did want to talk about this piece and I wanted to give you all of the information as well on this particular piece because I again I do think it is a major major hit spoiler alert um, if, especially if you are a Game of Thrones fan um, or just a Jon Snow fan but look at that portrait look at that portrait it is just insane how good it is so much detail we're gonna get into all of the photos as well um, all of the detail uh, just about everything you see here is sculpted um, there is some fabric elements uh, with a cape and things like that but good lord look at that it looks like a snapshot a photo of the actor in my opinion just really really incredible really really well done it just really really awesome so uh, this is again a quarter scale piece um, and this is part of that line uh, they have a couple of other pieces already in that line so this I believe is the third um, and I think this is the best one guys I really really do quarter scale and this is approximately 24 inches high of course he is sitting down uh, 60 centimeters um, and it does include Include the throne itself, the Iron Throne, um, which is also really incredible. You notice it has a round base, so you have to take that into consideration. Some people have room for round, some people don't like round, but again, I just feel like this is so incredibly epic here, um, and I feel like it's got a good footprint but it's not going to take up a tremendous amount of space being quarter scale of course um, you notice the fabric element on his shoulder um, that is really the cape uh, is the only fabric element to every, there's, there's areas that look like it um, but the cape can be removable um, so you can kind of pose it how you want to if you don't want that look um, but I, I think it adds a lot of realism to it I think it's really quite phenomenal um, I really like his pose uh, with him kind of leaning forward holding on to the sword um, I just think it looks very epic I think if you are a, a you know a TV collector or uh, just a collector of this genre this is a piece that I think will add a lot of wow factor to your collection um, the hair is sculpted at first I was kind of like okay is it sculpted or is it rooted uh, you know prime one does sculpted hair um, but they're getting better and better at it. I think the hair looks really quite phenomenal. Um, of course, some of it would be covered up by the cape, so it really, again, it depends on how you want to display him. Um, but I do think that it looks really, really impressive here. Um, again, this is going to be a quarter scale piece, so the price point is going to be $999 USD. Um, that is the price of some uh, third scale pieces. Uh, so you might be saying, okay, is this a little bit overpriced? I think it is pretty close to fair um, when you consider that some premium formats in quarter scale are six, seven, eight hundred dollars. Uh, I think that this is a fair price point because you are also getting the base and you're also getting the throne itself. Um, and just incredible details. So I personally think that the price point is pretty darn fair. Um, I know we can argue about that for days uh, with price points, but in my opinion, I think that's fair price. Um, so the details here are just really incredible. The belts, the buckles, the leather. Um, I think all of it really works well. Uh, I'm a big Pirates of the Caribbean fan. It makes me want to, like, that looks like Jack Sparrow to me right there. So, like, it makes me want to see Prime One tackle uh, the Pirates of the Caribbean license. But we're not here to talk about that license. We're here to talk about the Game of Thrones. But look at that. It looks like a real buckle. Um, and that is really impressive with the belt, um, the leather elements. It just looks very, very good. And it really works with the areas. Uh, or the elements that are in fact fabric that animal fur uh, the cape 
again, just the details are really outstanding to me. I love the detail on the base. I love the intricate carving uh, along the border of the base. I think that works very, very well, helps tell the story. And I just, I really like that um, kind of Lord of the Rings like to me. Um, I just love that kind of detail. And of course, the throne. So here you can see uh, him off the throne. You can have just the throne if you want to, if you want to display it just like that. If you're a fan of just the Iron Throne, um, that would be a really cool option if you want. Um, I think it looks great from all angles. You notice it's kind of a, uh, you know, I said round earlier, but it's actually kind of more of a round, rounded front with a flat back. So that's actually going to take up less room than I thought. So there you go. I think that's a big hit for me right there. Uh, it won't take up as much room. But again, you can detach him from the throne if you so choose. Um, I do not know if there's a key. Uh, maybe just gravity. Maybe he just sits in it. Um, but I, I think that's a great option if you don't want to display him. But I, I, although I don't know why you want it because it's just phenomenal. Um, here you can kind of see the height here, kind of how big it is compared to somebody's hands. Um, so it's going to be a pretty sizable piece. Again, I believe it was 24 inches tall. And again, just once again, at that $999 price point. So to kind of wrap things up, for me, it is a major hit. I think that Prime One Blitzway did a phenomenal job with this piece, especially with the head sculpt. Um, I think it is one of their best likenesses to date. Uh, major hit. I think the price point is fair. I think the uh, the size of it is really great as well. Um, this is not one, though, that I'm going to be adding to my collection, unfortunately, but it's one that I'm going to be able to appreciate from afar. Um, but I do want to know what do you guys think about this piece? Uh, is it a hit or miss for you? Is it one that you're considering picking up? Uh, I would be curious to know. Uh, I will have a link down below to the Prime One website uh, if you're interested in ordering it because it is up for pre-order as we speak. And again, I just think it's a really great piece. I tip my hat to the artist because I think they did a phenomenal job. And again, to me, this is a big, big hit. I think it's absolutely fantastic. But again, I do want to know your thoughts. Uh, what do you guys think about this one? Is it hit or miss for you? Let me know in the comments down below. And of course, as always, thank you so very much for watching. If you are new here, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, click that notification bell. You guys know the drill. And I wanted to kind of leave you here with a 360 view of Jon Snow. Again, really fantastic piece from Prime One Studio. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time in the Batcave. Bye, everybody. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them. And also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the Batcave.